It's quiet these days in the southeast corner of Poly Vista Park, the space seemingly waiting for the perfect opportunity to come along. After seven and a half years, it finally has. The day I found Atlanta's legacy was the morning I was writing his obituary. So it was um, June 5th, uh, 2013. Since that day, Marcy and Scott Smith have focused on one thing above all else, honoring their son with a dream that he never got to live out. He uh, wanted to play baseball. And when that was never a reality for him, that was kind of what kicked it off for me. And the Miracle League field was, I don't want any other child not to be able to play. The Smiths found the Miracle League, an organization that builds all-inclusive fields fit for anyone with any disability of any age. 20% of our population is special needs in some way. And, you know, this isn't just for children. It will benefit senior citizens. It'll ben benefit wounded warriors who thought they'd never play with their kids again. I don't think anybody really realizes how many people this park will serve. And uh, I'm, I'm surprised it actually hasn't come up prior to now um, that somebody wanted to get on this. So Dean Blackford made sure it will get it. Blackford is a board member for the Harnish Foundation, a family group with roots that started in 1929 in Sydney, Montana. Their mission is simple, give to those who can make an exponential difference with a running start. I have known the Smith family for a number of years and uh, when it came up the opportunity to support this group, uh, it was a, a, an easy shoe-in, if you will. Harnish's $375,000 donation last week is enough to finally, after seven and a half years, make Landon's Miracle Field a reality. They're set to break ground this spring. Can I ask how this came about? Friendship. Family. Um, knowing them, and they're such a huge part of this community and have been for years and they love the community of Billings and they want to stay involved in it and be part of it. And they believed in Landon's foundation. The work isn't done yet. The field is just phase one of the site's master plan. Once the Miracle League is finished, we'll move on to the all-inclusive playground. And then after that, we'll do the splash pad. And why that's important is when people um, have mobility issues, they have a hard time cooling their body, so that kids that may be playing in the Miracle League, they might get overheated. Under normal circumstances, they would just have to go home. Well, now they can just go cool off on the splash pad. We want to make it an all-day play day for families. A day Landon would have loved. He would be overwhelmed. He would be overwhelmed. He'd be very proud. Um, just unfortunately, he can't be here to see it, but he'll be here. Casey Conlon, MTN News.